Hello and welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. Today we are playing Trekking the National Parks. This is a awesome game, one of my favorites, and hopefully we can help you learn how to play the two-player game. Uh, what we have set up here is how it be set up for two players. And Ashley's going to explain the, some of the details about what we have laid out here. Okay, so on these locations like this, um, you will get a major park. You could possibly have the ability to get a major parks card but on the locations that do not have the red square around them this is a national parks card there are stone rewards so for this the amount of stones you collect there will be a, a reward we are playing a two-player game so we're setting up the board for two players there are more of these if you play with more than two people. The red squares that I mentioned before, um, you only play with three of these at a time. Sorry guys, some of them were turned over. So I'm going to kind of mix them up and lay three of these down face up and each of these cards have a point value what you have to have to purchase or to camp on these you camp on them what you have to have to be able to camp on them and that more will be explained on that as we go. And when he says camp on them, we each have a set of three, three tents. Show the mirrors. Um, and so if you purchase or, or pay the fee to camp there, you then get to put that there. On be, that this triggers different activities for um the different parks bonuses so, bonuses so these are good to do um then these are the regular parks and you lay you these were shuffled prior um you lay three of them down again face up and our goal here is to traverse to these parks via the white yeah. trails and um, then you will pay these prices. And this, again, like he said, is your point value. We also have cards that we will be playing with. You have three maneuvers or two maneuvers on each turn. You can draw a trek card, which is these these cards. You can move, you can claim, claim a park, or you can occupy a major park. I think I shuffled these the other night, but. Yeah, they're shuffled. So, in a two-player game, you start out with two cards each, and then you lay down five. And when we were talking about points, those are what you collect. You see the, the color and the symbol that's on there. I have two of those, and as you see on these cards, there's one on that card, there's two on that card, but you also need two purple mountains. If you have two purple mountains and those two canoes, and you're and on you that location, move to that location, you will take the gem and you will have the opportunity to purchase that, which will give you 10 points at the end of the game. There is also 
a brown bear figurine that the first the player that's going to play first has. The way you determine that is the last person to visit a national park is the starter. And then you swap back and forth if you're playing multiple games. The, you can play until you clear off these stones or you can play till you have five parks. We kind of make it a longer game and we clear off the stones and buy as many parks as we can. So, and then once the last stone's gone, the game's over. But the rules say five. purchase five of these, you win, or clear the, the board. So, we're basically playing the longer version of the game. Okay, so I'm going to move, make my first move. Oh, another thing is you can either, when you look at your hand, if there isn't, there's not a card here that works for you, you can have a card drawn from the top, or again, you can take any of these and the banker then puts a new card out. But you need to look at these cards, look at these cards, Decide which one you want to try to get to to purchase. Of course, the higher number is better because you're getting more points. So you would find, say, Grand Teton, and that is, where is Grand Teton? Right here by me. So I would, if I had the two boats and the two mountains, I'd want to move there and purchase that and get the Yellowstone. And since I got a yellow stone, I'd also want to add to my yellow stones until I would have the most. But what you have to remember is there are uh, parks or national park cards that will allow the opponent to steal or swap one of your stones. So you need to keep that in mind if you want to be able to win by having the most stones. And since I don't have enough cards to buy Grand Teton. That would be four. I would probably draw and try to get what I don't have of the symbols, the canoes and the mountains. I would probably draw until I got what I needed or take a chance on some of these others. It depends on what you have in your hand. You can also just kind of wing it and um, you can Say, say you had a one card, you could move here and then that, that stone's yours. You do not have to camp or climb a park. Right. So we're just gonna play a little bit. And maybe I'll catch on as we go. We'll try to do our best to explain what we're doing as we're doing it. So I have drawn a card and now I want to draw, I'm gonna take, also pick up this card. And as you take from here, you replace. If at any time there are four of the same color, say we get another brown, um, all of those have to be shuffled to the bottom of the deck. And then you replace them. Okay, so. I showed y'all what I had at the beginning of the game here, and obviously with what I have, I can't purchase anything over there. So I think I'm just gonna keep building my hand right now, and I'm gonna take two, and I know what card I want, and it's none of those will work, so I'm gonna take two off the top of the deck. To add with what I have. I don't know how those all come up. Move down to there. Okay. And you can hold up to 12 cards. Once you have over 12 cards in your hand, at the end of your play, you must discard down to 12. Okay. And I'm going to make my first move. I'm going to move one. So I've earned my first stone and I'm going to purchase or, or claim Hot Springs. Hot Springs is worth five points. 
They mm -hmm. also have a little write-up on each card about that particular park. So you learn about the areas. Hot Springs happens to be in Arkansas. Tim and I have both been in, in this there. building multiple times. New card is the Great Smoky Mountains. So now we have Great Smoky Mountains, Grand Teton. I can't even pronounce that. Cuyahoga Valley. Cuyahoga. The only Cuyahoga? reason I know that is it's from Family Guy. <laughs> okay, that's in Ohio. The Great Smoky Mountains is North Carolina and Tennessee. Okay, so I still don't have what I'm after. And the cards still aren't here that I need, so I'm taking two more off the top of the deck. You see, now I have what I need. Okay, I would like one of those green or those blue fours, please. And then one good thing is, about this game is there are both symbols and colors. That makes it very good for colorblind people. Um, so that's something to consider when you're buying games is whether they're colorblind friendly. And this one it does pass the test. And the numbers on the cards are telling you how many you can move if we didn't cover that. And you can move as many cards as you, you want. So there's no limit. Oh, I'll, I have another set, so okay, my turn's over. All right, so I'm going to move three. So you see that card has a three on it. That's gonna cover my moves. I'm gonna discard that. And I'm gonna move the three. One, two, three, two, Grand Teton. And I'm gonna take my yellow gem for landing there. And we're gonna to try to get as many of those as we can. And then I'm going to buy, or I'm going to claim Grand Teton, which is two purple mountains and two blue canoes. So there's my two purple mountains that gets discarded and then two canoes that also gets discarded and I now own or I now have leased or Claim. visiting or whatever <laughs> the Grand Teton in Wyoming for 10 points. And the object of this game is to get as many points as you can so you need to be thinking about these cards here because at the end of the game you will if you have a cabin or tent on one of these you will get to count those as points at the end of the game and there's bonuses that are listed here that each one will allow you to have so you need to remember that as you're playing now i've done my two moves it's her turn i'm going to take this card Yeah, I'll see this card. Okay, and my turn is over. Let's see. I will take two from the deck. Thank you. Your turn. Okay, I'm going to take two from the deck also. No, I'm going to take one. No, cool. I'm going to take one from, two from the deck. I'll make up my mind in a minute. Okay, your turn. Where is this cup? It's right here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take a four bear claw. And you also want to wait till that card that you have taken is replaced because you may need that card versus doing something else. 
And I think I am going to take this card and hold it. And my time, turn is over because I've went twice. One thing I noticed in the instructions while I was rechecking through them is it says you're supposed to pretty much announce everything you're going to do. Like if you're going to go and buy, say, the Great Smoky Mountains, you're supposed to say, I'm going to move to the Great Smoky Mountains and I'm going to purchase. You're supposed to show your cards. So it's a little more, we just kind of, I'm, I'm over here, you know, and we're, I'm going to buy this and we'll discard our cards. And according to the instructions, it's supposed to be a little more drawn out than what we've been doing. Okay. So on my turn, I'm going to take this card. And replace it. And I'm going to take this blue card and again replace it <laughs> with the same card. Okay. Let's see. Where is the petrified forest? I should have all these memorized. One thing about this map is, as you can see, it's not true to what we're used to looking at as a you know, as an United States map. For instance, the gateway arches that are in Missouri are way over here, which they should be over here. Um, Hot Springs is way over here. It should be about here. Um, so it's not true but so you kind of have to know where stuff is on the map to know where it would be located on this map that is one thing that as you're playing if you're playing with smaller children to keep in mind okay it's my turn and my first move is going to be to move to petrified forest and I'm gonna take this route, so it'd be one, two, three moves, that's three. So one, two, three. I'm gonna claim my yellow, and that's one turn. And then I'm gonna purchase, or I'm going to pay for Petrified Force, which is one red and one green, which is discarded, and now I have that card. So I have 15 points, and my turn is over. Now we have a new park card that's Channel Island in California. It's worth five points, but it's your turn. And it takes one brown paw, one blue canoe. Okay, I do not have what I want, so I'm going to draw one from the top and two from the top. I will take the brown paw. Ooh. I'm getting close. I have 11 um, cards in my hand. I will take one from the top of the deck. So I have to start watching that. And that's my two moves. I am going to move one space to the Great Smoky Mountains. Uh oh, Tim, I'm encroaching on your yellow stones. And I'm going to claim the Great Smoky Mountains. There's my two tan and my two purple. Death Valley. Now, another thing is when you're moving on the board, you cannot move through somebody. So you'd have to find another route if they're blocking it. But if you have the exact number, say I have a two and I'm right, just say I'm right here, and I, I have a two card, I want to move there. I can move that two and I can knock her back to start. So that's another thing to keep in mind. You cannot pass through somebody unless you land on that spot and then they go back to start. 
So it's my turn now, right? Mm -hmm. um, still don't have exactly what I want. I want to take one off the top of the deck. Maybe it'll be what I need. Um, let's take another one off the top of the deck. Your turn. Okay, I played down my hand so I'm safe so I can draw more cards. So I'm not seeing what I want here. So I'm going to draw one card, draw two cards. Okay, my turn is done. Let's see, where do I want to go? Okay, let's see. I see where I want to go. I'm looking at the numbers on my cards to see if I have those numbers to get there. And I do. I can, I'm going to move to Channel Island, which has a card here. And it is three spots going that way. And I'm going to use a two and a one to make my three. Collect my gem or stone. I, I believe these are actually stones. And so that was one move. Actually, that was two moves. I moved and I bought. So I'm done. <laughs> Whatever we're doing, renting, leasing, claiming. Claim. I'm not seeing what I want in my hand. I'm going to take a card. And I'm going to take another card. And as y'all can see, I'm basically, every time I draw, ending up with the same color. So, there's my hand. How many cards do you happen to have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, two more to go. Okay. See what we have over here. See what I have in my hand. And can I get there? I cannot. So I'm going to take this card. And I'm going to take that card. And my turn's over. Okay. I'm going to change up my strategy. I'm going to just move. There's one card. I'm going to take this gem. And I'm going to move again. my turn. And now it's Tim's turn. So, the plan is, what is the plan? <laughs> How many moves is that? Can I make it? So I'll just explain what I'm doing. I want to move here because I have the cards to uh, claim. claim it. And I need to count my spaces to match the number of cards I have so I can actually move right there in one move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I can do that I can move eight times with that. Let's 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oop, I miscounted. I could have swore I counted eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Yeah, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, can't seven. Can't go that way. Oh, see, I done forgot. I can't go through her. Why are you blocking my path? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to add one spot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven may not be able to do it yet. Three, four, five. Uh, okay, I put eight down. I already put eight down. You know what? I'm just going to move the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. eight. Look, 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 look. Seven, eight. Oh, oh there ain't no path there. I tried to help him, y'all. You just didn't want to take that black peg or stone. <laughs> I don't so have any. Was, Why would that matter? That was one move. And now I'm going to move one time and come back and take that black one. But I can't buy it right now because that would be a third time. Okay, so. I am going to move four spots to Yellowstone. That's one, two, three, four. Taking my black stones. And then I'm going to set up camp. By setting up camp there, I now have the option with Yellowstone, some of these are one-time options. Some of them are every-time options. When you claim a park, draw one card off the top of the deck. So from now on, each time I claim a park, I also draw another card. So that ends my turn. I think I'm gonna sit there for a minute. Well. Yeah. I do want that card. This one here? Yeah. So that's one turn. And then I want one off the top of the deck. And it's your turn. Okay. I'm gonna take this card. And this card. Sure. I want one off top of the deck, please. And now I will buy Kyoko Valley. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm done. That was two minutes. Looks like a really pretty place to go. It's in Ohio's only national park and one of the very few parks found in an urban setting. The park features the historic towpath trail which follows the Cuyahoga River for more than 19 miles. Okay, I am going to take this card and this card. My turn is now done. Okay, I'll take a card off top the deck. I'll take another card off top the deck. And it's your turn. On this turn, I'm moving two spaces to Zion. One, two.
and I am claiming Zion. That ends my turn, so I'm going to flip over another card. And because I have, I'm camping at Yellowstone, I take another card. All right, where do I want to go now? Get my numbers right this time. I want to move to Grand Canyon. So it looks like I need six. So I can move that six. I think it was six. One, two, three, four, four five, and, six. Yeah. And I'm gonna take my red stone. So that was one move. So now I can buy. Or you can camp. Or, you can claim. I mean, yeah, claim. I can, I can tent camp <laughs> on the Grand Canyon. So that's gonna be five points at the end of the game. And Grand Canyon is, when you move, you may move plus one further. And I. I believe it says you may, so if you want to, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Your turn, right? Yes. So on my turn, I am going to move. I'm going to draw a card. Guys, I'm not getting cards I need tonight. Um, I'm going to move four. I'm going to move five. And my turn is over. so many times okay let's see don't have much to work with so I'm gonna take this card and I'll replace it and I think I'll take that card and replace it it's your turn I'm gonna take this card And I am going to take or claim Haliki. I think that's how you say that is Haliki. And so I'm turning in, oh, I'm discarding four cards. I'm drawing one card because I have the card that says on each turn when you claim a park. And now it's Tim's turn. These are not good park cards for me. I know, I'm not getting what I need either. I will take the yellow four. And I will take that one boot. I am going to draw from the top twice and now it's Tim's turn. So I'm going to take the red boot and where am I? Let's see, I'm figuring that out. I'm going to take that card and that's going to be my turn. 
Okay, so I am going to move to Death Valley. That's one, two spots. And I'm going to claim Death Valley. That's two yellows and two reds. I was going to take that. Sorry, Charlie. Yes, no, she is. And because I'm camping at Yellowstone, I get to draw another card. Your turn. Well, since she took the one I wanted, I'm going to move one, two, three places to Carol's Bar, Bad Carl's Cavern. Bad Cavern. Carl's Bad. And take this red stone and I'm going to purchase that. That is two red and two yellow, right? Two red, two brown. Oh, hang on. I messed up Raleigh. <laughs> Where did you see yellow? I guess I was still looking at that one. Death Valley was yellow. And I thought for some reason that was. It's my color blindness. So I messed up. It's uh, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> You're just camping there for the fun of it. Huh? I got the peg or the okay. stone. That was twice right. Now I moved and I was going to buy. So no, I still have a turn. I still have a turn. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do since you messed me up on that. I don't need to get rid of that card though. I'm just going to move two. And I'm going to claim a yellow stone. Since I really messed up. Maybe I'll get a little something out of this move. Your turn. Okay. I only have two cards left in my hand. So not enough to do anything with. So I'm going to draw from the top. And I'm going to take from those cards. I'll take two off the top of the deck. Not what I needed. I may have to change my plans. It's your turn. I'm going to go ahead and clank, take this card. And take one from the top of the deck. Your turn. I'm going to take this card. Let's see it. I'm going to take one off the top of the deck. Now I need to count my cards to make sure I don't have 12. I'm at 10. So close, yet so far away. I'm going to move three, claim this stone, and draw a card. And I will draw a card. Draw one more card, and that'll be at 12. I am going to claim Pinnacles. Because I claimed Pinnacles, I have to draw a card. Well. I'm going to move. Hang on. I only moved once. Oh, you bought a property too. Oh, I moved in property. Yeah, you're right. So now I'm going to move to Joshua Tree, which is going to be one, two, three, four spots. One, two, three, four. Claim my green stone. And I'm going to purchase 
Joshua Tree for a green. I have a fun that's got all the reds. Red. Every little point helps. Now it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to pick up this yellow card, lay another card, up. I'm taking it too. You want them yellows, huh? You must be going to buy Yosemite. <laughs> Yosemite. Yosemite. <laughs> Yosemite? Yes. Yosemite. It's like Yosemite to me. Yeah, I know. You always call it Yosemite. Okay, your turn. Letters don't make sense to me. <laughs> Okay, so he says it's my turn. Mm -hmm. And that's where strategy helps. Um, so he's getting a view of what I'm holding because I picked up those two yellow cards. So he could very well run down the trail and beat me into that park. And where are you? Oh, I see it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to move to land on your spot and send you all the way back to start. That's how you like them crackers. Now I'm going to do. Okay, that was one move. Cards just ain't doing. Cards ain't carding. What I want them to do. So I'm just going to move one and take this blue stone off the of semite. So if you come back over here to buy it, you don't get the blue stone. Your turn. You notice none of those colors or symbols are on any of these cards. So they are totally, well, yeah, they are. The trees are there. Dang, my eyesight is spelling me today. I would like that blue too, please. And I'm doing you a dirty and I'm sending you home. One, two, three, four, five. No payback? Back to start. Your turn. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this card and flip me one over. And I'm going to take the one. Okay. On my turn, I am going to claim Yosemite. I've got two green cards, two yellow cards. They're, they're going into my discard pile. I'm flipping over a new one. And I'm picking up my card for camping on Yellowstone. Well, I think I like that card right there. And if we were only playing to the point of claiming cards, I we I would have won the game game a while ago. Yeah, and I've got five too. We're just used to playing until all of the we prefer to make the longer game and claim all the stones. So I'm going to move to Shenandoah, which is two, and claim that red stone. And then I'm going to purchase Shenandoah. Wait, that's three moves. 
Now I moved to, and now I'm purchasing. I didn't draw nothing. Okay. So that's mine. I can get it. I think y'all have watched pretty much. In fact, we should go ahead and just stop the game since we did get the five cards, over five cards. I'm at five cards, six cards. But I think we should go ahead and stop the game since uh, we have actually went past the five cards just for filming sake to keep this shorter. Uh, like she said earlier, we normally just keep playing until we clear the board of all the stones. Makes for a longer game and we have fun while we're doing it. So we're just going to score everything now and see who won. So I'm going to let her kind of explain while she's scoring hers and then I'm going to just score mine silently. Okay, so Tim has the most of the red stones. He has I have the most of the blue stones. I have the most of the green stones. Tim has all most of the black stones. And we are tied on the yellow so no one gets that. So we we each are camping on one of these spots. So we've got we get to claim the coordinating spot. So I get top five for this. Tim gets five for this. Then Each one of these has a value in the corner. So we add those up. So we start out at five. I have 67. I have 55. So you won. Thank you. But it's a really enjoyable game and we're actually going to stop filming. Hopefully we gave you enough that y'all have a better idea how to play it and saw our mistakes and learn from that too. And, uh, and keep in mind that this is the first time we have played a game on camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's new to us. But it's like 95 degrees outside, and I spent all day yesterday out in the heat. And it's nice to be able to just sit in air conditioner and, and not be hot and play a game. And we're actually going to finish this because we like to just keep playing until we clear the board of the stones. That's the way we decided to play it. And I just don't think that we should just keep the video going the whole time we're doing that. Uh, the idea of this was just kind of give y'all an idea of what this game consists of before you go out and spend the money on it because these games aren't cheap. Uh, but this is one I highly recommend. Thank you for watching. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, go do that before you leave. And we have more games coming that are outdoors uh, themed. So stay tuned.